We'll get to the winter weather coming into the region in just a moment. But first, we are following breaking news right now out of northwest Baltimore. Police are involved in a car chase with a suspect who is wanted in a shooting. Chopper 13 has been over the scene. Captain Jeff, we've been watching this driver evade police for about 20 minutes now. Yeah, we've been over this thing for at least 20 minutes ourselves, and uh, they've gone all over West Baltimore. They are now southbound on Reisterstown Road. As we watch this, I'm going to try to call out the roads as best I can. Now, um, you can see there's damage to the vehicle. Right now, nine police cars at least following directly behind this car, and uh, just about every intersection he comes to, there's at least one cop car waiting for him. They have not been able to uh, stop him at all. Uh, he's gone through some fields, he's crossed over, gone the wrong way, he's gone through uh, traffic lights. We've seen him come very close to uh, hitting some other vehicles and hitting some people, some pedestrians. So you see parts of the car falling off. Now, when, it make, when this car makes a turn, it seems to lose a little bit of traction. So we're thinking that maybe the tires are either worn out or he may even have a tire that's about to blow. But uh, he's continuing southbound on Reisterstown Road and uh, coming up on uh, the Mon Dahman area. So uh, got a busy intersection right ahead of him. He's probably going to move off to the right and go around this. Looks like there is an open lane and uh, that'll take us right down to um, Pennsylvania Avenue. And uh, once he gets up Pennsylvania Avenue, we'll have to see where he's heading. But uh, again, this uh, suspect uh, wanted for a shooting. Uh, police are chasing this uh, vehicle through West Baltimore. They've gone as far down as um, Franklin. Uh, looks like they, uh, we're going to uh, hold on a second. Looks like we may have a stop here. Looks like he's coming to a stop, Captain Jeff. Wow. Wow. It's amazing that no one was injured, Captain Jeff. We saw him narrowly miss a school bus. This is incredible. This is live. Tell us if, if people are just tuning in. So right now, the car is still moving. Well, we, uh, we think there's another person in that vehicle. So there was two people in the vehicle. One was taken out. That person is in custody on the middle of the street on uh, Pennsylvania Avenue. Pennsylvania. And uh, it's actually a uh, Reisterstown Road at this point. police cars do you think you saw? You said every intersection. They went through Monroe. They went through West Saratoga. Kind of walk us through if viewers are just tuning in to what's been going on. Okay, what we've seen is a very long, very fast chase, and uh, every part of West Baltimore is pretty much covered. They went uh, up and down Monroe and Fulton, all the way down to uh, Washington Boulevard at one point. So they were in uh, southwest. Then they uh, started working their way back up. And uh, this is where it came to an end. They went, uh, sort of going north on Park Heights, got up a little bit and turned around and came south on Reisterstown Road twice. And then uh, eventually it got to this point where it appeared as though the vehicle just wasn't moving anymore on its own. So that's uh, how the police were able to uh, make this come to an end. They uh, did pull the uh, suspect out of the vehicle. And it looks like there were two suspects. I think they're uh, both in custody now. Uh, you can see that damage and, uh, to the car. And Captain Jeff, you said that he came, or the suspect came close to hitting other cars and pedestrians, but you didn't see the suspect actually hit any other cars. We saw him hit at least one car, and they came very close to hitting pedestrians and other vehicles as well. There was uh, one situation where they were going through an intersection, and there was a flatbed truck that they almost hit, which mm, would right. have been a pretty catastrophic uh, collision. But they managed to uh, miss that one. And uh, breaking every traffic law you can imagine in this chase. So there's police everywhere right now here, right in front of Mondaman. And this, he's a and this is on uh, it's on Reisterstown Road, right at uh, Gwyns Falls Parkway. And a shooting suspect, so it's unclear where the weapon is at this point. Captain Jeff, what is the uh, protocol for you from a coverage standpoint? Because we know that Foxtrot was following the car. Are they telling you to, to maintain a safe distance? How does that work? Yeah, so I was talking to Foxtrot, and 
when we first came in, we were flying at about 1,500 feet. Uh, that's normally what we do when we're sharing airspace with Foxtrot. And uh, they said uh, we may have to climb, so uh, I was able to get clearance for 2,000 feet. So we gave them plenty of separation, so they were able to climb uh, as needed and uh, move around without worrying where we are. We're the only other helicopter that's on this chase right now, so uh, that makes it a lot easier. It's a little tricky when you get a couple other helicopters out here, but uh, uh, we worked uh, with Foxtrot all the time. Uh, we know them and uh, we're able to coordinate and it's always their call. If they want an altitude, they get it and we'll uh, work around them. Okay, Captain Jeff, thank you. We're glad this pursuit has come to an end. All right, and we will continue to follow this story and bring you more information as it becomes available.